Happy New Year folks and welcome to the first episode of 2022 and welcome to the number one channel in East and Central Africa that brings you great and epic motorcycle content that you've come to love. Now today we have so much great things in line for you and I know you do have a lot of questions and I do intend to answer them right here. So this is none other than the Tekken 250 Forza review. is powered by an air cooled 250 cc single chugging out 16 horsepower at 7000 rpm and 17 newton meters of torque at 6500 rpm now the bike is carbureted and has a maximum tank capacity of about 14 liters and from the looks of it it gives you an average fuel mileage of about that five kilometers per liter so multiply that by 14 you do get to maybe an average of maybe 300 kilometers or so per tank give or take uh, i'm just doing the mother of head so the bike also has a six-speed gear transmission with a linear power curve meaning that you really have to ring the neck of this bike in order to get any power from it now it also comes with a dual sport tires which are very suitable especially the kind of roads that we do have here in kenya which is very suitable for most of the riders or most of the riding that is available right now especially with the construction of the road so most roads are actually not quite suitable for normal street tires now you do also get the option of having crush bars and side panels and of course the side panels come at an extra uh, price and higher price which I will be putting it down in the description box below. Now you can also actually fit a full size helmet in each of the side panels and they're very well secured even while going off road. Now you do, you do also get very good single disc brace at the front and the rear which perform quite well especially when you're going off road and on road as well. Now with an overall weight of about 132 kilograms, this seems to be one of the most manageable bikes currently at the moment. And now for the really fun stuff, I really love the overall build quality of this bike. It was quite solid, nothing felt quite cheap and everything seemed to be quite well bolted in and well secured. It did remind me about the Diane 200 and more so about the Benelli brand, especially with the huge beefy uh, suspension at the front. Now with a very solid suspension, this bike is really meant to be abused and can even take it even with the luggage and the pillion on board. Now the styling of the bike is very appealing and though when you first sit on it, it does feel kind of squeezed. Once you adjust to it, it becomes very easy to ride. Now my first impression was that this is quite a very friendly bike. It can pull wheelies if you know how to or you can even find yourself pulling wheelies on bumps. I, d I did manage to do that a couple of times. Now the power curve is quite steep and even though it is a 6 speed, it does require you to really open up the bike so that you can really get it going if you really want some speed. But then if you're planning on starting out, probably yeah this is a very good beginner bike to start with. Now with a total speed of an unbroken engine of about 110 to uh, maybe max 120 km per hour. But I know this bike is quite capable to do even more. Now the side panniers like I said are extremely well secure and I did go off road a bit and really jumped onto some really small hills and they were perfectly solid. There was no rattling, there was no vibrations, this was just super awesome and quite fun if I'm honest. And I did love the fact that the bike is essentially a buy and ride with little to no modifications required. Now the riding posture is quite upright and pretty well balanced. Its ride height is accommodative but for really short people I really think you can uh, manage this bike with a lot of ease. Now the bike is essentially an enduro bike that has been a bit toned down or slightly or maybe mediumly toned down. But it is very quite stable especially even on high speeds and it maintains a straight line all through. Okay. It is quite nimble and holds well in corners. Now the other thing is that you can actually stand on this bike and be able to be and be able to see your dash perfectly well giving you all the right information that you actually need to require without having necessarily to struggle looking down. So here's what I think that the bike lacked or rather would at least improve on. First was the lighting. 
Now the small headlight was very visible even when full beam and I could easily look directly into it. Hence the very first good mode that you need to have is maybe install an extra auxiliary lights uh, which you can actually mount them on the on the crash bar that to come installed with the bike because it is essential uh, whenever you're trying to ride in low light situation or even at night or at least you can actually swap out the stock one and install it with a main a, a more powerful a, a more brighter one now for the pillion accommodation now my experience on it was not very good unless you are really skinny or less built person then you're really going to have it a bit rough now the seats gets really uncomfortable and really small even after a while and the pillion pegs are set a bit high for my taste and now with the top box and the space becomes even smaller so imagine with a full set of gear uh, it can be quite unbearable so it's best if you have a pillion and you do have the top box already you can either remove the top box to have more room so that your legs can actually stretch and blood can flow to your legs or even if it, that is not possible you can always have to stop every few hours or so in order to stretch and uh, you know be comfortable now the engine performance was not its best but it was way better than some of the engines that we have reviewed on the channel now the dash was quite basic and displayed all the necessary information however i did notice a lag on the rev meter but i really don't think that's too much of a big deal if you really know how to ride a bike you just have to listen to the engine in order to know when to shift or whether the bike has an issue but so far everything that was displayed there was quite informational and well displayed so how does it fare with other bikes in the 250cc category now at the moment there are plenty of other 250cc bikes available today and when compared to the likes of the tnt or the trk 251 it is a bit underpinned when it comes to the power delivery and comfort and also looks now the tnts have a well rider to passenger comfort in mind and an even more defined power to weight ratio while the taken lacks in some of those aspects when it comes to comfort and pillion accommodation when it comes to suspension i think i would also like to think the benelli is more superior but the zonte is no, not the zonte but the taken is right uh, behind it is not too far from it when it comes to the likes of the Zontis 250L and 250J, the Tekken becomes quite superior in that it has better ground clearance, better suspension and even better all overall build quality with the exception of the lighting. Plus you do also get additional safety features such as the crash bars well as compared to the Zontis bikes. When it comes to the Raleigh 200 and the Raleigh 250, I would say they are almost at par with the Tekken having better looks and styling. But I would like to think that the Raleigh has a better overall su suspension travel, although it might seem to be a bit higher when it comes to the ground clearance. And also, I think, apart from the styling, I think also the Tekken has a lot more better load bearing capacity when it comes to the uh, Raleigh. By the way, this is all speculative. Uh, I am not quite sure on how much the Raleigh or either the Tekken can have, rather, can take the weight i don't know their load bearing capacity this is all just speculative um take it with a grain of salt i would say but yeah i would say i would like to think that both of these bikes are maybe at par i'm not i haven't ridden the raleigh bikes as of yet so all this is speculative so what about the keyboard 250 you might ask i would say this is a 50 50 because even though the keyboard 250 might be a, may have a lot of power maybe more power than the Tekken 250 uh, I would like to think that the keyboard rather than the Tekken has better suspension and also when it comes to load bearing capacity of course keyboard has a, a lot more bearing capacity because there's a whole banana seat uh, that you can actually put a lot of more stuff as compared to the Tekken 250 but when it comes to like styles and looks of course the Tekken takes it uh, the keyboard well it's not the prettiest bike out there but it's a mule it can basically do anything and almost go anywhere same case as a taken you can take it on most places without having to worry about anything between the keyboard and the taken 250 i think they actually kind of cancel each other out so if you're really considering both bikes i think um it's all about preference which one excites you more which one looks better uh, on you more no judgment you know so in general if you are somebody out there who is considering or rather who wants a bike that can almost go anywhere or maybe the type of terrain that you are is not suitable for street tires 
and can also carry a lot of load and also looking for a bike at, uh, on a budget then this is definitely the bike for you so that's all that i had for my review i will be making another video comparing it to specific like uh in-depth review between the let's say they take into 50 and then, then the benelli tnt 250 or the trk 251 i will be doing another video on a series of that if you're interested so but all in all a big shout out to zingli motorcycle kenya for making all this possible do check them out on facebook and check them out uh or their dealership thank you for watching and if you do have any questions or comments do not hesitate to reach out do love reading and replying to all your comments subscribe if you haven't already and also give a like to this video Thank you so much for watching once again. Stay safe, ride safe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.